Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for logging on. Thank you for tuning in. RadioOnFire.com and this is the Love and Hip Hop Post Show. Yours truly, Diamond K, and I am joined by Pebbles. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm very good. Are you okay over there? I'm great over here. How are okay. you? Okay. Uh, one of the this is one of the rare occasions where we get to uh, sit across from each other um, <laughs> and, and do the show. Uh, we always have better shows like that. I think. Oh, we is do. it me? We okay. Do. All right. So, um, love and hip hop. This is uh, this is your baby. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> because you turned me on to this show, and I just want to take time to say thank you. Thank you for taking away hours of my week that I could not get back. But uh, you enjoy it. <laughs> I do. I do. I, I do. And uh, I've been saying this for quite some time. The the new stars of the show. OK. Hmm. Mimi and Nico. This is their show. OK. The show. I think this season is going to be about them. But. I think I want to start the discussion off today with someone who's going to have a very limited run. Very, very short run. Uh, not a lot going on by way of uh, her involvement in the show. And that is Kylie Red. Okay. I think <laughs> this is the uh, grand opening, grand closing for Kylie Red. All right. Of course. I'm, I'm going to tell people something that, that I, I have happened to be able to find out about Kylie Red. Last season, not sure about this season, but I, last season she was not paid, right? She just was on the show. They didn't want her on the show last season. But she, you know, they say it wasn't they didn't have any budget for her. But she agreed to do her stuff on the show for free. So last season, I didn't know that. Kylie Red was not paid. That is that is true. Wow. And uh That's so I, I have to the, right, <laughs> I I'll have to find out uh about uh this season, but she was not paid for last season. Now, with that being said, here she is. We find out she's in a relationship with young Jock. Correction. You found out. Okay, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. Um that she was in a relationship with young jock. Okay. Uh, and another thing that I thought was hilarious is how she, when she was talking about young jock, how she introduced him. You know, she's like a, uh, uh, Grammy nominated, uh, Forbes list. And I was like, who the hell is she talking about? Who's she going to say? And then she, she said, young jock. And I was like, nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, please, <laughs> Kylie, please. I mean, what are your what are your thoughts on it? And don't spill the beans because I know that you that you've you know kept up on the relationship. But what are your thoughts on Kylie Red and Young Jock? Isn't she older? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know if it's a little bit, but I don't. I can't see them as a couple. Yeah. And that's why. Oh, uh, well, see, you don't want me to spill the beans. Yeah, I don't want you to spill the beans. I don't want you to spill the beans. Um. um you know, so she, you know, they were at like a, like a photo shoot or, you know, something like that right. early on. And then we see, you know, they're a couple. It just seems crazy to me. You know what I mean? It's not like, I think Young Jock said, you know, I want to go on that show. Who I got about? I got Mr. Kylie Red. I could do that. All right, fuck it. It's going down. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> I need to be relevant again. Uh, she ran up on him in Magic City, uh, mm. which was, which was kind of funny. Magic City, um, is a, uh. Magic City, I would say, is like Atlanta's version of Norma Jean's, okay, but a little bit better. Well, I don't know. I've never been. Well, to it's a strip it. club, you know, and uh, it's a strip club on the seedy side of town. It's right near the uh, bus station. Um, they made it look a lot better than it really looks. Okay, it just looks like a. It looks when you if you actually see it, it looks like a, a building, a house is just like in the middle of. You know, train tracks and industrial park. It's just kind of like random. So, so you've been there. I have. Uh, okay. I've been past it several times because, like, like I said, it's on. It? It's on the. Um, yeah. I had to check it out and see what was going on. It was right. Ten years ago, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I mean, you know, it, it's cool. Let, let me say that. But um, so she ran up on him in Magic City, right? And she's wilding about. Okay, so he he um, she's like a stalker. Well, you, you skipped the conversation that they had about 
his man who's smelling like fish. Okay. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. She said his, you know, she said that. So, so, I mean, set that up. Set that up for us. What? How did that happen? Why Why did she say that? Well, she wants she wants to live together. Right. She feels like they'll spend more time together that way. Maybe. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> that is what she believes. So, she commented on him wearing the same clothes. She said, you know, yes. you had the same clothes. So, on. she told him about him having on um, the same clothes for three days and... His little dirty, I mean, his little no, no. unclean self. He said, said he had on for two days. He's excuse me. He said he said you his, can trap for a couple days as long as days. you take a bird bath. That's what he said. He That's what so he said. <laughs> dirty. Oh my gosh, That's young what Josh. He, said. he has sweaty balls. Well, she said that his manhood smells like fish. Oh yeah, so they don't. He don't. He doesn't have sweaty balls. So how you know what he fish smell like? Balls. How you know what fish smell like? Collie red. Because she smelled like it herself. <laughs> <laughs> now, just because he smelled like fish doesn't mean that he was doing something. Oh, uh, yes, it does. You think so? That, uh, his manhood, yes. Wow. I don't know. but um, Evidently, she sticks her nose down there. Evidently. So, this, <laughs> this relationship already started off shaky. Right. Uh, so, seeing him in the strip club just added to it. Yeah. So, so when she came in the strip club, he was, uh, I guess I was taking shots off of a girl's Yes. Stomach or something? Yes. Um, you you being, um, you know, some someone who can be a little fiery, mm-hmm. how would you have reacted if you came in a strip club and I was taking shots off of some girl's, you know, stomach? Well, as you know, I'm sarcastic. <laughs> so I would have gotten some ones. <laughs> And I would have made it rain with the ones. Okay. Because I'm sorry. For her? Uh, right on both of y'all. Uh-huh. But uh, you you know, later on it would be something else. So you wouldn't have made a scene there? No. Not with, unless, not the, in cam- public, unless no. the cameras were there? No, not in public. I, no. Well, she, you know, she wowed him out, I think. Mm-hmm. And he was kind of laughing at it, though. He didn't seem like he was taking it too serious. He wasn't. And the girl was shaking her ass right there. And yeah, that was crazy. He was looking at it. And she said, I'm talking to you. <laughs> But uh, he, so he says that he agrees to move in with her, though, or move them move together. I, I didn't understand that. Um, it just seems like he's not as serious about her as she is about him. Is it me or or, or I don't know. I agree. Well, this I mean, he's a little younger than her. This is going to be a train wreck. And I'm just glad that they're filming it so I get the chance to see it. Oh, my goodness. It is a mess. It's really nothing to see. Well, it should be over by next two episodes, maybe. But right. <laughs> um, now, to, on to the stars of the show. Nico and uh, Mimi uh, are flying out to meet with the adult film executives out in L.A. Uh, to figure out what they're going to do about this sex tape that uh, Nico put out. I mean, that mysteriously leaked out mysteriously oh, no. you were right the first yeah of time. course you know so but but they go out to meet with the guy uh if you were mimi what would you be doing i mean what can you do really if you were mimi um what are you asking me would i have gone uh, yeah would you have gone set up the deal yeah yeah um, or gone to see what they were talking about See, the thing is, like they said, it's going to be released anyway. Right. So, I can't be Mimi because I don't do those type of things, recordings, you know, whatever. Right. But in the situation, because it was like that, I do agree that, you know, hey, make some money off of it. And that's, that is exactly what they plan on doing. So, they fly out there. Um they actually agreed to to some terms. Um, Mimi signed those papers so damn fast to me, yeah. uh, but she did ask why. You know, how did you get the tape? And they said that there was a um, a non disclosure agreement. Mm-hmm. We can't tell you that Nico did it, but you know, <laughs> you know, he kind of pointed his head to yes. him. But uh, um, so we we found out how the. Um, you know, the tapes came about and all that good stuff. 
at least we found out how they were going to um, uh, see the light of day. Right. You know, if if we can use that word. Yeah. So that's how that's how the whole thing came about. I I think that now that people are getting a glimpse at to as to what she had to go through. You know, in the aftermath of the tape, I think we're getting a, a little better understanding. Right. But it is clear to me, as you, that Nico initiated this whole Indeed. thing. And what he don't, didn't realize was all of the backlash that she's getting because her Instagram is ridiculous. She can post something positive, post a picture of her daughter. What do you mean? And everything is negative. What's been happening? You a hoe. You, you, you. <laughs> They're posting You're, this on her Instagram? Yes, on her um comments. Oh, wow. On a picture of her daughter, you'll see stuff like that. So you follow her? Yes. Yeah, I have I have to uh, check that out, definitely. So does she go back and forth with people, or does she just ignore no. it? She just ignores it? Yes. She'll okay. make a post and never come back and comment. Uh, uh, very good, very good. Um, Now now we got to get on to your, your friend, your boo. My friend. Well, maybe not your boo, but your... Uh, you're scrappy. <laughs> You're scrappy. Um, My scrappy. He decided to check Mama D. I think he checked her kind of, kind of sort of. He basically, well. He can't check Mama D. Okay, well, maybe, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe check is the wrong word. Uh, but he asked her to back off, uh, you know, with Bambi, the Bamster. And, um, <laughs> Isn't that cute? It is. It is kind of cute. And and he told, asked her, rather, that if she, you know, to back off or else he was going to, you know, interject himself in, in her relationships. She Not has relationships? Well, something. Relations. she looks like a he. I don't think she has relationships. <laughs> her relations. You don't, you don't think she's. Um, <laughs> you know, you being the mother of two boys, do you think that you're going to be in their relationships to the degree that Mama D is? Well, as you know, they're older and I have yet to... I mean, they're not they're not Scrappy's age. No, they're not. Right. They are at an age where you could, where a mother would say, no, I don't want you to be with her. No, I don't want... I don't do that, you know. Right now, my son is dealing with someone I don't want him to be with. But I will not say don't deal with that person. That draws them to that person. Right. So I'm not going to do that. Right. I would never... Be like Mama D. Okay. Okay. Uh, which is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, the flip side of the um, uh, the situation, uh, Scrappy um, seems to like Bambi. And I think that Bambi seems to like him. I, I think Bambi's along for the ride. But... Um, I don't see that. You don't... You think Bambi likes him? I think... Bam, I think Bambi Bambi loves him. Whoa! She has said that he didn't say that. But he no, she tried to get him to. But say But you that. think? I mean, I know she said it, but you think she really loves him? I think so. He's just in a Scrappy, a lot of what, like of with what her. are you What are you doing to these women? These you, Scrappy's Scrappy's Jamaican them crazy. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear your little smart comments. Um, I'm not going to say it. Okay, <laughs> but uh, um, Stevie. Knows that there's a tape, and uh, he threatened to, you know, hire a lawyer to get his daughter, or as I like to say now, a lawyer to get uh, to get his daughter back. Now, S Stevie J, not the most honorable and respectable person out there. Do you think that he has grounds to? No. You didn't even let me get the question out. <laughs> what, okay, okay, so if the role had been reversed, uh, as I, I think that there is a sex tape out there with uh, Jocelyn and uh, Stevie J, I'm sure that eventually we may see uh, some of these tapes. But okay, do you think that as a parent, he has a right to say this is not the best environment for my very young daughter? What's not the environment? Uh, she wasn't. Uh, laying on the bed where they were, she was not in the same room. Um, like I said, I would never make a sex tape, but at the same time, this lady, whatever she's doing, as she said, adult business is adult business, right? Having sex does not make her unfit, 
I, well, true. As you said off um, off air, that's how you know the baby got there in, in the first place. Exactly. I get that. I get that. Um, but now that she's a porn star, now that she's having, I wouldn't the, qualify her as a porn star. Why not? Uh, she just had sex. I didn't see anything special. Well, I mean, I I, I don't think that special is what makes it porn. I think that <laughs> I don't know. I just I don't know. She's an amateur porn star. If you want to say that. She got paid for these for the viewing of the tapes. So I think that makes you camera. that well, yeah. But I think when the it's Kim Kardashian a porn star. All right, point taken. Point taken. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, point point taken. Um, now uh, in another bit of interesting things, and and I've said this uh, many times, I want to see Erica and Scrappy together. Scrappy and Erica met up. Um, and I Which think. Erica? Uh, Erica, his baby mama, Erica. Oh, because you know there's another one. Well, yeah, yeah, okay, there, so there's another one. I just needed to know. Which but uh, his baby mama, Erica. I want to see them together. I think I that's who she she should be with. I don't. She should be with who she's with now. For th- this this guy, the moment. But uh, he, he, you know, it'll pass. <laughs> uh, but they did meet up, Scrappy and Erica, his baby mama, to talk about their relationship. And I was hoping they were going to get back together right then, but it didn't happen. Um. She seems to be really smitten with this new guy, and Scrappy seemed hurt. Did he look hurt to you when he was talking to his baby mama, Erica? Yes. Yeah. He's yeah. bothered by that. He He's definitely bothered by it, and, um, you know, she even pointed out that he's been sending her some inviting Texas, um, not to be confused with the state Texas, but actually Texas, plural, um, you know, trying to trying to hit his baby mama again but no Stop money money me. no licky licky <laughs> okay so uh, uh but he uh, he did meet up with a video vixen named erica p okay uh and she was questioning why he was rushing into a relationship with anybody she was giving him those vibes to me what, what did you think about that he seems to like her um when I saw the conversation and the connection that they had, I believe he's been there already. Uh, you think he's already been there? I think he's been there already. I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. I like the connection with Erica P. and Scrappy better than the Bamster. Yeah, but you know what? Like he said about the Bamster, how many of you men can play basketball <laughs> With your woman <laughs> after you have sex with her. Yeah. Okay, come on. Come yeah. On. That's a good point. That's a good <laughs> There you have it. If you can play basketball, <laughs> I mean, who cares? This ain't loving basketball. Scrappy? Come on, man. You mad? Uh, a little bit. Oh, I no. mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, here's here's the thing, okay? That is is it's very nice. Um, those that know me know that I'm a big wrestling fan. And if I could, you know, have sex with my girl and then we get to watch wrestling, I don't know if that's really going to turn me on too much. You know what I mean? Maybe that's wrestling's for me. You know, maybe it's for me. Maybe basketball should be for you. And, 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 nah, never mind. All right, I'm so. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not going to comment. I'm just not going to comment. For those just tuning in, this is the Love and Hip Hop Post Show. And we do this every, every, uh. Every day that Love and Hip Hop comes on, because you know they switch it up sometimes. <laughs> yes. uh, right here, Pebbles and Dami K Radio on Fire dot com. The climax of this show was Stevie J saying, "I know where this nigga works out at. I'm going down to where he works at and meet him up in the back in the loading dock, because that's what it looked like. It didn't look like any gym that I know of. Oh um, yes. So Nico's coming from the gym. Stevie J's trying to confront him. And also, what has been reported for the all of the stars of Love and Hip Hop have a bodyguard that's personally assigned to them. And each each person has their own person that's supposed to prevent them from doing any physical harm to each other. Okay. And they, you know, kept them apart. But Stevie J went down there to confront uh, Nico. And they, they acted like they wanted to fight, but uh, security kept them back. Who would win this fight? 
I'm not sure, but I would love to see them duke it out. You were like, <laughs> did you say duke it out? Yes, I did say duke it out. They they did manage to throw <laughs> some very interesting insults at each other. I think that Nico won the insult war uh, of no, the battle. I, I'm not going to say that. Why? He just incriminated himself. I, well, he did do that. I definitely agree with that. Uh, very good point. He said that you just mad that we got our sex tape, you know, sold and, and nobody wanted yours. Mm hmm. He sure did. That sounded very incriminating. Yes. Um, I, I agree with you. I, and, and I brought that to your attention too. And we agree on that. Let me uh, tell you something that was funny though. What? When, <laughs> when Stevie J said, don't nobody want to see my baby mother. She 50. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Not long ago. I mean, even if you say a year, year and a half, you were still sexing her. It was really last season. They were still right before he married Jocelyn. When you know she hadn't been with Nico that long, All right? They were still together. Remember, he yeah. gave her a ring. Oh, that's you know, true. But I have to give her a ring too. You know, yeah, you were yeah. still sexing her. You didn't. Yeah, think well, I mean that that and was she's a, not fifty, and that was a whack insult anyway. Even if she was fifty, which she's not, she does not look fifty like bad fifty. She don't look bad forty five. She looks she looks very good. So it, it's not that. I think that she he's hurt. For whatever reason, he's hurt, but he's hurt. What you mean, for whatever reason? I mean, you're married, Stevie J. Yes. You but have the queen. He has the Rihanna reject. <laughs> but I don't care what any man says. Yeah. To see another man, to actually see it, another man intimate with the mother of your child. That's a problem. Yeah, it's gay. Sometimes it's just yeah. your ex. It could be a problem for that. Yeah, person. yeah, yeah. And it, and it, it clearly is. Um, Nico threw out there that 17 months ago you was broke. and uh, But uh, CVJ did have a comeback, a, a very uh, basic one. Yeah, but he's not now. I'm not now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, Nico also threw out there the fact that uh, he was a million and five in, in the hole in child support for one of the kids. And he's like, but you got five. True. <laughs> yeah, no response to that either. But um, you know. Oh yes, wow! Well, listen. So is, is this is this a battle between Nico and Stevie J, or is this really between Stevie J and his baby mama? The problem, see, and, and that's the thing, when people move on, the they have to remember the parents. The, the issues that come with the child are between the parents. Like, uh, what's this? Stevie has Jocelyn, the Rihanna reject, in his ear. And then Nico was all in Mimi's ear, and he had so much to say. Right. And they, right. both of them should just be quiet. You both of nothing, the uh, significant others. Right. You have nothing to do with it. Let the parents handle it. But I don't see Stevie J, I mean, what you going to say? Oh, she had sex. That makes her unfit. She's not unfit. Not because of that. Tell, tell me this. Um, if if I was Stevie J and you were Jocelyn and I'm upset because my baby mama did this, at what point do you become upset that I am upset about an ex? Or does that not really, is that not something that's going to come up? Oh, it's going to come up because why do you care? Right. Yeah, and, that, yeah, that's what I mean. You know, he's trying to make it relevant, you know, that it, it as it relates to the child, but that's not it. It's, it's not affecting the child at the moment. As she get a little older, it may affect her. It will. I that think could be, so. That could be his problem, but I don't think that's what it is. Well, so I'm going to say something immediately when you all blown off the top. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to confront Nico. Oh, mm -hmm. no, you're not. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you brought up a good point earlier when you mentioned uh, Kim Kardashian. Do you think that uh, Baby North uh, is going to be affected by the exploits of Ray J and Kim Kardashian? Uh, by the time, you know, so I guess the baby's probably one now. So, or, or close to it. So, you know, we're talking maybe 10 or 15 years from now. Is that even going to be something that comes up or is it going to be so far in the past? 
it's going to come up because she's going to Google her mother. <laughs> so yeah. it's going to come up. You just never know how someone may take it. So with that being said, that this is going to, um, you know, uh, Stevie J and um, Mimi's child is older than baby North. So uh, this is something that she's going to have to face a little bit sooner than uh, Kanye and Kim's child. Yeah, because I would say when she get up there and the grades, she may not she may not even go to grade school. She may be homeschooled. Right. But parents may, you know, children hear parents talking and they may want to believe that their children don't listen. But they're going to hear and then they're going to take it to school and be like, that's why your mommy made a, a sex tape, you know. So right. then there's the bullying right there. Bullying. There, there you have it. Um so we're we're two episodes in Love and Hip Hop. Are are you liking the show thus far? I like it minus this mess with Carly Red. Well, I'm sure she'll be at it. Well we could you know, she's already donated her services last season, so Well from the preview she's gonna you know, she's gonna be a little more relevant. Yeah. She's gonna yeah. catch a beat. A little down, bit so, more. Yeah. Uh we before before we end it, we, we, we definitely have to mention uh, my friend Rashida and Kirk. Yes. Um, Team Rashida. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm definitely rooting for her. Um, now, Kirk, you know, got a a, uh, a home DNA test. Uh, On his own, too, because um, I didn't see her being tested. Yeah, of which she wasn't going for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, Benzino, uh, helpful in that. He was the one that, that gave him the knowledge that you could even do that. Uh, so we're, we're going to see see how that happens. Definitely looking ben forward Zeno to it. Benzino is the reason yeah. that he got caught up in the match. He's the event. reason. No, no. Kurt is the reason. He no, did No, he took him there. He's lying. He, he knew those women was going to be there. Yes, Kirk was wrong 100%. Yeah. But his homeboy took him there knowing that the well, boys look, was going to be there. If I ever get in that situation, I'll, my friend did it. Okay. It wasn't me. He's the one that yeah, made well, me. Well, if ever... <laughs> I hear of such a thing. Trust and believe. I won't believe it. Okay. Okay. Well, we, we'll definitely uh, we're going to close out on that note. Uh, but we'll be back on Monday with another uh, Love and Hip Hop post show. Um, it, you know, you you definitely want people to follow you on social media, right? So how how can they do that? I'm I'm on Instagram. Your favorite? Yes, my favorite <laughs> at Pebbles underscore page. Okay. Very and simple. where am I at? On Twitter, I am Tweets by Pebbles. All right, very simple. Tweets by Pebbles. Yes, okay. and on Facebook, I'm Pebbles Page. Okay, that's very simple. <laughs> uh, on Instagram uh, and Twitter, I'm at The Diamond K Show. And we have a brand new page on Facebook, Like Us Radio on Fire on Facebook. So we will be back on Monday. Thanks yeah. for listening, y'all.